Hi everyone! We're going to find the value of x squared plus x to the power of negative 2 when um, x to the power of 1 half plus x to the power of negative 1 half equals 3. So to make this easier, the first thing let's do is uh, we're given this. So if I write x to the power of 1 half plus x to the power of negative 1 half equals 3, and if I square both sides, uh, that's going to help me get to where I want to be. So if I square both sides, I'm looking at this formula here. Uh, you square this and you're just going to get x, right? Because x to the power of 1 half squared just equals x. All right, and then we get plus um, 2ab. So that's going to be 2 times x to the power of 1 half times x to the power of negative 1 half. And then uh, plus, when you square this, you're going to just get x to the power of negative 1 equals 9. Now this part right here equals 1 because you have x to the power of 1 half minus 1 half equals x to the power of 0 equals 1. Therefore, you have x plus 2 because that just equals 1 plus x to the power of negative 1 equals 9. And if you subtract 2 from both sides, you're going to get x plus x to the power of negative 1 equals 7. And now to get this square here, what we're going to do is square this again. We're going to square both sides. So when you do that, you're going to get um, x uh, to the power of, let's see, um, let's see, x squared plus x to the power of negative 1 equals 7. That's what we had. All right, so uh, if you square both sides again, then we're still using this formula. This is going to give you x squared plus 2x times x to the power of negative 1 plus x to the power of negative 2, and this is going to give you equals 49. All right, again, this is just going to equal 1. So you're going to have x squared plus 2 plus x to the power of negative 2 equals 49. And when you subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, you're going to get x squared plus x to the power of negative 2 equals 47. So the value is 47. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.